I am endangered languages professor, so endangered that I'm the only such professor in Australia. I, a Jew from Israel, use a German Lutheran Christian dictionary in order to right the wrong of the past conducted by Anglo-Celtic towards Aboriginal people who had been in Australia for 50,000 years. Yossi is from Australia. You must speak to the swans in the language of where they are from. So there are no other endangered languages professors. So the endangered component is the professorship too. <laughs> Not is there a Sephardi here? I can ask a Sephardi to come and you'll be surprised to see that most Sephardi in, in, in Israel do not pronounce the I. Because when they learned Israeli, it was already fully fledged. When the Moroccans came to Israel in the 1950s, they had to learn Israeli. The fact that they, can, they could produce iron was irrelevant. Most of my army friends who were Sephardim, Mizrahim, did not pronounce the iron. I had a Yemenite girlfriend, she did not pronounce the iron. Her grandmother said, Ani mekawa shehakbe siso. Do you understand what I said? Ani mekawa shakitsa. Yes, she talked like that. But she, the, the, the girl, my, my age, she did not pronounce any uh, any so. Any. I personally believe in native tongue title, just as native title is compensation for the loss of land, I believe that native tongue title should be the compensation for the loss of lung. Because I personally believe that if you put a gun to my head, what is more important, language or land? In my view, language. I'll give you an example.